Nodding out at the dinner table. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nodding out driving a car. Oh, oh, oh. The infamous nod out. Let's go. K Rugs, the Sober Dog, coming at you. Before I get into it, remember Sober Dogs does not promote or condone any drug use. Please seek professional medical help if you have an addiction. Thank you to everybody for the support. If you are not subscribed already, I will earn your subscription by the end of this video. Or just subscribe and hit that like right now. I would very much appreciate it. The not outs. So one of the things that happens constantly in opioid addiction, and it really doesn't matter what opioid somebody's addicted to. Oxycontin can be Vicodin, can be Percocet, can be heroin, can be fentanyl, can be all of the above, a mixture or a combination, is the not outs. That is what you probably see in a lot of movies and what you'll see in a lot of different depictions of addiction is the person nodding out. We see them, you know, with just videos online when they're filming somebody in active addiction, somebody just nodding out. Maybe somebody's standing in the middle of the street and they're just out of it. They happen all the time, and it's from downers, the infamous not outs. Now, how do you tell the difference between a not out and falling asleep? Well, that can be tricky, but one of the things to look for is to me, the falling asleep it usually is like a little bit quicker, and it seems to be a more black and white thing. Like when you, somebody's falling asleep just because they're tired, it seems to be like, and they fall asleep. Maybe there's like a one or two nod, but they're just kind of either back or forward and fall asleep. With the nod outs, A, the person is fighting it, and B, they got the drugs in the system fighting them in their system. So it's more like a constant battle of this uh, 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 nodding off, popping up, going back, going forth, that constant up and down, up and down. And they usually don't end up falling asleep. I mean, they might nod out for a period, an 8, 10, 15 minute period, but they usually don't end up falling asleep. It's actually, contrary to popular belief, not that easy to sleep on opioids. We think of it being a downer, knocks people out, but for people like me that got high and used them, it's actually not that easy to sleep. You more sit there in this like kind of comatose state, but you're awake and you're like nodding out and you're itching and you're just kind of in this weird mindset that's hard to explain. Another thing to look for is look at the pupils. You want to look at the pupils. If you see pinpoint pupils, that can be the difference between a nod out and somebody just falling asleep. They have normal sized pupils, it's a hot room, somebody's just tired. They got the pinpoint pupils, maybe other signs to look for too. You know, I'll put up the video with signs of addiction. But, you know, you put those together and that can be telling the difference between a nod out and somebody falling asleep. I remember dozens of times sitting at the dinner table, family, Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, uh, friends dinner table, whatever, and fighting, trying so hard to fight the nod outs, just, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And thinking and imagining that nobody notices or that everybody's oblivious to it. And, you know, people, everyone at the table knew what was going on, and I'm sitting there just fighting it. And you could see it sometimes in people's face when they're fighting it. Like, I know when I'm about to fall asleep in, like, an important meeting or something, you know, I fight it, but, like, you fight it quick and, like, your eyes pop up and you, whatever. Maybe you go to the bathroom and put some water on your face. Fighting the knot out is a battle. It's not just fighting a little bit of tiredness. It's that... They're trying to pop their eyes open. The, uh, mm, it, it's this whole battle. You'll see them maybe making goofy things with their eyes, with their mouth. Maybe they try to pop up real quick and just, but it'll constantly be the battle and they'll always go back to the knot out because their body is so high and they have so much stuff in their system. What was your craziest knot out situation? My next video is going to be what happened to me when I knotted out split second, whole life changed. I'll explain why.